I said, come on, Rick. What part of that didn't you understand? Don't make a face, because I'll smack it right off your face. Hey, I'll come smack on. That I'm trying to get right this done for you. Get over here. What's up? Rick Petko became a fan favor following his role on Discovery Channel's American Chopper, a show that revolved around the daily affairs of Orange County Chopper, a custom motorcycle garage run by Paul Tuttle Sr. The show rocked the airwaves while it aired, and it was known for two major things top notch custom choppers and the tumultuous relationship between Paul Tuttle Sr. and his Paul Tuttle Jr. Apart from the father and son duo, other skilled hands were on the show, such as Rick Petko. Rick was one of the original cast of American Chopper and starred on the show from day one. He was part of Orange County Choppers between the duration of 2003 to 2013, while he appeared on American Choppers from 2003 to 2010 before leaving the show. In 2016, Rick officially parted ways with the Tuttles and the show to establish his own business and focus on his family and personal life. Meanwhile, speculations keep flying that he left the show because he could no longer cope with the toxicity displayed by the Tuttles. Hey Rick, here we go. Did it seem like this axle was a little too long? It like flushes up without even spacers in it. Why can't you figure it out? If it's too long, it's too long. Is this assumption true? Let's find out what really happened to Rick Petko. But, um, this one, you, you can kind of see for a while, it's kind of been brewing. You could just see on Senior's face every day, he was just getting very irritated. Um, a lot of it, you know, honestly, I wish they would keep it at home or actually get it figured out and stop bringing it to her because it affects everybody here. Rick was fascinated by motorcycles at a very young age. While growing up in Pennsylvania, he enjoyed watching motorcycle races and shows on television. His passion was further fueled when his father bought him his first mini bike at seven. He adored the bike so much that he rode it almost every time. Besides riding his motorcycle, Rick often went to his father's garage to tinker with his bikes. Rick's passion transcends motorcycles, and he became fascinated with virtually anything motorized, from four-wheelers to go-karts and later to choppers. Rick had developed an interest in NASCAR by age 15, eventually working as a mechanic for a neighborhood racing school. While working as a mechanic, Rick perfected his skill, gathered the necessary experience, and joined a Pro Cup racing team. His job was to ensure the team's racing cars were in good shape before every race. Meanwhile, Rick's interest was not limited to the repair and mechanical aspects of automobiles. He was also interested in metalwork and fabrication, so he paid attention to those aspects while working as a mechanic. After spending several years with the Pro Cup racing team, Rick worked for different manufacturing companies for the next 10 years, specializing in heat treat furnaces, relining kilns, and material processing. Rick kept working and putting himself out for the world to see. Having honed his skills with constant self-development, he eventually made it to the world of automobile restoration, leading him to cross paths with Paul Tuttle Sr. Impressed by Rick Petko's skill and work, the Tuttles hired him to be a part of Orange County Choppers in 2003. As a result, he secured a place in American Choppers as it made its debut on Discovery Channel. While on the show, Rick focused on making old-school choppers as well as designing and fabricating new designs. As his first act on the show, Rick Petko worked on a POW MIA bike. The bike was made as a tribute to soldiers who were prisoners of war and missing in action. Rick was super productive during the project. He revealed the project was personal to him as one of his cousins fought in the Vietnam War. Meanwhile, his dedication and zeal to work continued after the project. Despite the bickering, intense relationship between Paul Tuttle Sr. and Paul Tuttle Jr., Rick's passion didn't flutter. It kept him going for many years at American Choppers. Even after leaving the show in 2016, he appeared on a special edition of American Choppers that saw the appearance of the show's original cast. Rick Petko appeared on American Chopper for 13 years before leaving the show. While on the show, his skill was too prominent to be ignored. Rick was diligent and gave the fans a run for their money by consistently showing he knew his onions. His exceptional dedication made him a fan favorite within a short time, but just when the fans thought he would stay forever, Rick left the show. So what really happened to Rick Petko? 
On the grand scale of things, leaving American Choppers is one of the many important things that will happen to Rick Petko. The deciding factor behind his exit from the show was that he wanted to focus on his family and establish his own business. Leaving American Choppers to be close to his family didn't surprise his fans, as he has always been family-oriented. In fact, his wedding with his wife, Brittany Cockerham, in 2012 was featured on American Choppers. So it all made sense when he decided to make time for his family. It's great just to have everybody, you know, just throughout the years that I've worked with, um, Junior showed up, the old man showed up, and just everybody from our shop. And um, just a lot of guys that I've spent probably like, you know, last nine years of my life with that I get to, you know, share these people, this friendship that I've had, you know, with Brittany. It's just so nice to have everybody here. Rick's decision to leave American Chopper is born out of frustration due to his daily long commute. Rick spends an hour and a half on the road every morning and every evening while working at OCC, and it began to wear him out. Spending three hours in transit every day took away the time he was supposed to spend with his family. Rick constantly shared his struggles with the fans of American Choppers, and when he couldn't take it anymore, he decided to quit. After leaving the show, Rick made significant changes in his life and career. The choices he made took him down a new career path. In 2016, Rick Petko started his custom fabrication shop at the Pocono Mountain Harley-Davidson. He started the shop after entering into a partnership with Jim and Linda Schleer, the couple who run Harley-Davidson. Rick stated that the Schleers were optimistic about the collaboration from the moment he approached them. The parties kicked off the partnership and the rest, as they say, is history. For context, fans considered Rick's decision to have his shop on the same premises as a dealership shop a smart move. It was the perfect transition he needed after parting ways with the Tuttles, given that it's rare for American dealerships to have fabrication works in their shops. Rick's collaboration with the Schleers meant that fans and customers could order their custom dream bikes directly from the dealership. Rick is quoted to have said, if they can dream it up, we can build it. That is the main goal. Overall, Rick appears to be enjoying his new full-time gig and the possibilities that come with it. Aside from his work at a Harley dealership, Rick Petko also owns another fabrication shop called RPD & Co, a company he started back in 2006. The real reason behind starting his shop was to have a creative platform as an enthusiast of fabrication and anything custom made. That is why he still focuses on building vintage race bikes and mini bikes and working on custom welding and metal work. Meanwhile, building automobiles is not his only specialty. He has continually expanded his scope and tested the limits of his comfort zone. He also makes custom knives and wedding bands. Shortly after leaving American Choppers, Rick again appeared on TV but this time on American Chopper Shack Bike Special. The special was like a reunion that brought back the original crew of American Chopper to work on Shaquille O'Neal's custom motorcycle. Building the motorcycle marked a new milestone for the shop, and due to its large size, the bike was nicknamed Man of Steel. Now that Rick Petko is entirely out of Orange County Choppers and American Choppers, he takes pride in traveling around the country and attending bike races and shows. In October 2018, he shared his journey to the Tennessee Motorcycle Revival, where he showed his Indian racer in the Bling Cycles Bike Show and later raced the bike in the Flathead Race. Rick knows that although his fans can't watch him on TV anymore, they are still interested in his recent activities. That's why he takes it upon himself to constantly share his progress on social media, especially on Instagram. He's active on social media and continuously shares pictures of his adventures with his fans. Rick also showcases his recent project bikes on his social media handles and shares how he put them to the test with his control skills. Interestingly, fans find it delightful that the custom builder is still out there doing what he knows how to do best. Rick takes pride in his zeal and passion for autos, which is evident from the fact that he continued on the same career path even after leaving the American Chopper. Rick Petko's net worth is estimated at $3 million thanks to his astounding self-drive and top-notch craftsmanship. It's safe to say his career as a custom builder is paying off. However, it is unsure if the custom builder would grace TV ever again. Although he possesses qualities that make him endearing to the fans, Rick is more of a shy guy compared to other reality TV stars. He doesn't seem intrigued by the glitz and glamour that comes with constantly being in front of the camera, which is why he might not return to TV. 
hopefully he will one day visit his old friends at Orange County Choppers, but for now, it's right to say American Chopper is behind him and he no longer wants to make a living as a reality star.